Hi there, everybody. Welcome to the third introduction style training video on G Adventures, uh, where I'm breaking down my regular G101 presentation into some tasty bite sized chunks for your enjoyment. So, welcome to What Does G Adventures Do Anyway? in less than 15 minutes uh, with your host, me, Gary Armstrong, the G Adventures GPS for Alberta. So if you've watched the two previous videos, then you know all about me and you know all about G and how we work as a social enterprise. Um, but what is adventure travel G style? Uh, and the answer to that is it's all about small groups. We are a small group travel operator. And when you start talking about groups, it's really easy to conjure up images like this. Images of, you know, hundreds of people piling off of uh, coaches or, you know, thousands of people piling off of cruise ships to go and see the sights uh, of, a, of a local place. And this is not what we do. Um, what we do is small adventure groups. So groups that max out uh, at about 16 people and 10 to average 10 to 12. We do have a few different groups that are smaller than this. So our Gorilla Overlands tour is, uh, is coming to mind where it's a max of eight. And we do have some groups that max out a little bit higher than this. Uh, some of our YOLO tours, specifically the ones across Southern Africa, uh, where you get to safari and camp in a, in a little bit of a larger group. But, you know, the idea of having this small group, um, there's a number of benefits and reasons behind this. So number one, I mean, it's more manageable for our CEOs to have a smaller group. You're not filling up locations when you arrive. You're not waiting for a long period of time for everybody to get their stuff together when they get off the bus and, and to start doing things. Um, it also means that the groups can, can split up as well. I mean, you have more individual freedom uh, and that CEO can um, kind of make sure that, that people are able to build their own experiences around the trip that they're on as well. Um, we tend to have free days built into our itineraries. Almost all of our, all of our itineraries will have that opportunity for travelers to build their own adventure while they're on a, a trip. Um, but I mean, a big part of the idea is the fact that, you know, you can get into smaller places, you're not packing uh, places full when you arrive. Uh, and so you have a, a better opportunity to interact in a more culturally rich way with the places that you are visiting. And, you know, you don't have to sit there and look at the world through a pane of glass, um, you know, as you as you travel around on a coach. So this idea of actual, truly small groups extends to all of our different travel styles. So um, even our riverboat cruising, and this is a Danielle here, uh, she's the boat that cruises along the um, our, our Burgundy cruise. And, you know, the more I learn about our cruising, I, the more I learn that we are very different to how other people do it. Um, the idea being that all of our boats max out at around 28 passengers. So although you don't get your own butler on one of our um, riverboat cruises, what you do get is the opportunity to get to know all of the other passengers who are on that ship. And again, this is a maximum. So often there'll, there'll be times when um, there are fewer people on board. And, and that extends to all of our different cruising options too. So here is the MS Expedition, our cruise ship uh, who plies the waters of the Antarctic and the Arctic. She's 134 passengers and 60 crew. Um, and she is small in comparison to some of the other boats uh, that ply those waters of the Arctic and the Antarctic. So um, this is the MS Expedition in the middle there. Uh, and then I think that boat at the front may be a tug. Um, and so just to put it into perspective, you know, when you're on the MS Expedition, we can get all of the passengers uh, into the dining room at the same time. So everybody can eat at the same time. Everybody can, um, you know, watch a lecture at the same time. The idea being that in all of our different tours, we're fostering that family atmosphere, um, the knowledge that everybody on that tour is going to have the opportunity to get to know everybody else on that tour. Um, the reason being what we want to do is provide um, a little bit less of this for our travelers and a little bit more of this that freedom to build your own adventure and to get to know the people who you are traveling with. And that's another really important part of, of uh, having that small group. You are gonna meet the other travelers and you're gonna get to know them. And we call this the holiday within a holiday. So while exploring new cultures and learning about new people in the destination that you are visiting, you're also gonna have the opportunity to explore new cultures and learn about new people uh, just by interacting with the other members of your small group. Um, and so only about 20% of the travelers who travel with G Adventures are from North America. Um, you know, we have a, a large group, a large percentage that come from the UK. Uh, we have a lot of people from the other countries in Europe that travel with us, as, as well as people from the Antipodean countries. And I know for a fact that that other line, that 4% of people from other parts of the world is growing as well. Um, 
the other demographic that we, um, or, or yeah, the other feature of having a small group is that those people and may all be from different countries, and they're also going to be of different age ranges as well. So um, about a third of our travelers, the way that I tend to break this graph down is about a third of our travelers are between the age of, let's say, 18 and 35. Um, with two thirds of our travelers being 35 or over. Um, there's a small group of people who are under the age of 18 and about a 5% of our travelers are over the age of 70. Um, but I mean, what this tells you is the fact that when you're on that small group, you have the opportunity to not only interact with people of different cultures, but also of different age groups as well. And that adds to that, um, that unique experience that each group has as they get to know each other and they get to know the, 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 the destination that they're traveling in. So, you know, what's different with G? And if you listen to the other two videos, then, you know, <laughs> other than our commitment to sustainable travel, uh, other than our commitment to keeping money in the local communities that you're visiting, other than building projects uh, in partnership with local communities and strengthening local economies through our nonprofit Planetera, uh, and other giving travelers the opportunity uh, to have a more culturally rich experience and really get to know the people uh, of the place that they're traveling, I mean, what, what else is different to G um, other than the fact that we have truly small groups uh, so people can yeah get to know the people on their group? Well, um, there's a few things that we've built into our, um, our, our, our product just, just for you guys as well. Um, the first of those being our 24-7 service. So um, you can get in touch with G Adventures, with our GCOs, uh, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Um, you know, you can call our GCOs at Basecamp uh, if you're in North America and then as the time shifts and Basecamp closes, then you're calling our offices on the uh, on the West Coast in Vancouver. And then um, as they begin to, to shut down for the evening, um, you have our, our offices in Australia as well. So you have 24-7 support uh, for yourselves and for your travelers uh, 365 days a year. We also have a 100% guaranteed departures. So if you book it, you will go. It is that simple. If you have a traveler who is looking at booking a trip and they, um, you know, they, they decide they want to go on that trip, they are they are actually going to go on that trip. It used to be a bit of a problem, right? Where you'd book on a tour and you'd be like, oh, we're not sure if the group's actually going to depart, if there's enough people booked on. So we'll hold off on our air, booking our air, and then, you know, you wait and the cost of air goes up and it just, it just wasn't the right thing to do. So um, if we have itineraries or we have departures that have less than four people on them, four or less, then what we're going to do is we're going to call those people and say, look, there's only a few of you on this trip. Would you want to merge with a, a different departure date? Uh, and if they say yes, then we can do that. If they say no, if one person wants to go on that departure, because that's the date they have to do, that departure will still leave. So um, a further thing that we do that's a little bit different is we have lifetime deposits. So um, it's, it's non-refundable. So once you put your deposit down, it, it is in place but it'll never disappear either. If you have, for any reason, you need to cancel your trip, then that deposit is kept for life for that passenger so that when they have the opportunity to go on a G Adventures trip in the future, then that deposit is waiting for them to use. Now, you can um, donate your deposit to Planetera as well, and you can also transfer it um, to another traveler. So if you have a family member or a friend who's looking to do a G Adventures trip, then um, just let us know and we can do a, a name change on that deposit and there's there's no additional cost involved in that. Um, it just means that a friend or a member of the family can can use your deposit. I mean, we've had all kinds of things. I mean, people have in the past sold their deposits on you know various um, websites and then again, just give us the name of the new person and um, we'll, we'll make sure that, that deposit is, is transferred into their name as well. Um, it just means that whatever happens, you will never lose your deposit with G Adventures. The final thing that makes us a little different is um, the fact that we really don't charge single supplements. So if you're a solo traveler and um, you know you just you, awesome person wants to travel by themselves, no problem. Um, you still have the benefits of being part of that group. All we're going to do is pair you up with somebody of the same sex in the same room, so that you can take advantage of the lower cost um, based on double occupancy, dual, dual occupancy. So um, if you do want to have your own room, then there's the my own room option in Sherpa. So you are able to um, purchase your own space if you would like. Um, but at the end of the day, there is no penalty for wanting to travel solo. Uh, we're just going to put you with a like-minded traveler while you're on your trip. And so the final question is, you know, where do we go, right? And the answer is pretty much everywhere. So we have over 700 trips in over 100 countries around the world. Um, and it just depends on how you want to go and visit those places. But that is a discussion for the next video on travel styles. So I will wrap up this, um, 
this this quick introduction to you know what do we actually do at G? Uh, the answer is small groups. The answer is truly small groups. Um, and the ability to have that holiday within a holiday and get to know the people that you are traveling with um, versus just being one of a number in, in a bus or one of a number in, in a large group. So um, as always, thank you very much for taking the time to um, get a little bit of a better understanding about G Adventures and how we operate and, and some of the differences between us and other adventure and tour operators out there. Uh, if you have any questions, please do reach out. Um, all my contact information is on Facebook um, and various other social media sites. So um, thank you very much for your time. And um, I hope to see you in, in the near future. And I hope you take the time to, to take a look at a few of the other videos that I'll be putting up on Facebook and other social media in the future. Thank you very much. Bye.